Jack, listen to me. Do you remember how Alice wasn't always in Wonderland? Well, I wasn't always in room. I've been locked in here for seven years. There's a world on the other side of this wall. What other side? You're gonna help me trick old Nick. This is our chance. You're gonna play dead? No, Nick's gonna come and take you outside. And I'm gonna be there in your head talking to you the whole time. I'm scared. I know. Lenny, it's wonderful to see you again. Congratulations on Room. Now, I was thinking you probably get the phrase Oscar buzz in pretty much every single interview. You should start playing like Oscar buzz bingo or just create some sort of drinking game so that every time someone mentions it, you can just take a drink. That is a of. really good idea. Should I, I, although I'd be in a bad way at the moment if, that, if I had done it. Um, it's, a, it's such, I don't know, it's, a, it's amazing how that even starts, but it does. And then it becomes a fact because people are talking about it. It has been talked about since we first showed the film and um, sort of amazes me. In my opinion, you've got a, a, a superb run of films all together. Um, when are you going to drop the ball and just make a bad one? I was thinking about that myself. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping maybe the next one. Fingers you know, crossed. Yeah, I'm rooting for you. Good, because it has to happen. So maybe get it over with quickly. I shouldn't say that because other people like, Funding the next film, we're going to, that's it. That's all. Gone. His head's in the wrong place. Yeah. He wants, he wants to make it a to bad fail. film. Yeah. So, whenever Room was coming about, I read that you wrote Emma, uh, the author, a letter. And uh, what compelled you to do that? Is that something that you'd thought about doing before for other films? Or did you no. put a fiver in there as well, just to sort of I, you know, I put a, convince her? I put a, like a, a token for, you know, um, like a country break, Lovely. you know, a hotel, spa experience, uh -huh. dinner for two. I thought that was a bit classier than just cash. And, and actually, yeah, and a couple of Thunderland tokens as well. I Amazing. Think pretty good. They're still in date, yeah? Yeah, They're still it's valid. good. You can come back anytime you like. Like, the reason I did it was because I didn't think there was any other way that it was, we shouldn't have really got the rights to this because it, it was already a bestseller. So, but actually Emma is a smart person who cares about what happens to her novel and was really keen that she knew the director she, she, she was aware of the director that was going to do it. So she wasn't going to sell it just to be, to be parked, right? And, and anyway, for me, I just wrote the letter because I thought, well, the one thing I can do is talk articulately about this novel, about a possible adaptation, what I would do with it. And, and I did, and, and that was the beginning of stuff. And I know she was obviously involved in the screenwriting process. Oh, yeah, she was happy with the final product. And then do you think other fans of the book will be fans of the film? Uh, she was, I mean, she adapted it, so we worked really closely together over about two years on that. She loved it, she was very emotional after seeing it, and that was a huge relief for me. Um, in terms of the fans, because it's been out in the States for the last two months, and generally very positively received by fans of the novel. But anybody who loves, knows the novel, read it six months ago or whatever, um, those people feel it is a very true uh, adaptation. Are we in another planet? To see. That's us. Couldn't it be? You're gonna love it. What? The world. And how do you spot a new talent like Jacob? You know, what, what makes it so special? Um, I worked with, I, having narrowed it down to a few kids, and I worked with all of them, Jake was the one who I was, who I realized had this engine, this actor thing that's, you know, it's, he's an amazing, amazing actor. I think what I saw in him was a series of natural capacities that you cannot teach. And that is just, I did really simple, because he was quite actorly when he was doing his lines, but I got him to do like, just si simple stuff where you just hold a look and then and then I'd paint a story where like, there was something behind that door that was a little bit worrying to him. And you just let him go and see what he did and you just go, oh, that's, I believe that. That tiny look, I believe that little look. That's the thing, you know? And, and, and then a certain kind of, the camera when you shoot him, you want to keep looking. Plus, whenever Emma works for Thunderland tickets, he probably works for Haribo and Cocoa Pops, things like that, because Yeah, that's... well actually, you know, Spring, his parents are amazing and they, they do that, you know, they, all of the money he's earned and whatever else he does, so we'll put away for him. He just gets, he gets a Lego set 
right? Every time he does a film, I think he's so excited about that. And I, you know, I would have, you know, beats going up the chimneys, but it's still really hard work. Um, but he just adores it, you know? Have people mixed you up with Tommy Wiseau yet for The Room? Plenty on, on Twitter, okay. yeah. And uh, uh, yeah, plenty on Twitter. And if I could approximate the kind of footprint that he has left in terms of the sort of cult of that film, I'd be doing pretty well. And where's your favorite room? Uh, actually, my favorite room is probably, um, I have a friend who's a writer that lives in Carlo, and I, everything about his place I'm deeply jealous of. And there's one room in that house, which is a sitting room with a fireplace. That's, that'll be my favorite room. I don't even have it, it's not even my, it's not even my it's room. It's not even your How room. How sad is that? Yeah. Listen, congratulations again. It's an absolute pleasure to talk to you. Best of luck with the film. Thanks, Thanks very Simon. much. Take care. When I was four, I only knew small things. When I'm five, I know everything.